Good evening, third grade families and students. How are you? It's Mr. Bergman. It's just about uh, nine o'clock on Wednesday evening. I'm making this video tonight because I'm hoping that you'll have a chance to see it so you'll know what our expectations are going to be for the next seven days of school as we continue with our remote learning practices that were put into place due to the situations that's currently going on in our world. Um, the chancellor has asked that we continue with the remote learning even though our spring break was technically supposed to start tomorrow and then go until next Friday. And because he has done that and our governor has asked us to do that and the mayor has asked us to do that, we're going to. But what we've decided to do is change it up a little bit and focus more on having themes for each day during our spring break and take a little bit of a break from our normal schedule. Okay, so what we've done as a team of third grade teachers is that we've designed activities for you to do each day and they're a little bit more different than what you've done in the past and there's an opportunity there for you to be very creative and have a lot of fun okay so we will have a powerpoint which hopefully will be on the google classroom sites tomorrow morning or tomorrow during the day um, so this way you could see and really understand what the next uh, seven school days are going to look like but for me um, the biggest change is that we're not going to be going live every day at certain times because we want you to have flexibility and spend time with your families working on some of these fun activities that we put into place. We will be available, okay? We will still be available via Dojo, via Google Classroom, via Google Hangout, or if you send an email, you know, students, if you do that through the classroom, um, we'll definitely get back to you and look to communicate um, if we need to set up something, you know, such as a hangout or a, a phone call, a conversation, if you're having difficulties, please feel free to reach out to us and we'll be able to do that. Um, okay, so that's that's number one. Uh, the second is that attendance is still going to be taken daily and we'll be taking attendance by seeing who's completing and submitting their work. And we're actually going to ask you to, you know, post some pictures of your work or uh, videos of you completing some of these activities up to the classroom so we can actually see how creative and, and awesome that you are, okay? You also can continue logging into Myon and to Dreambox over the break if you'd like, all right? And finally, over the break, if you've missed assignments, now's the time where you can really work on getting those done and completing them. And if you have any questions at all, reach out to your either your homeroom teacher or to that particular subject area teacher, so this way we can make sure that we help you and get everything done and keep you up to pace on your learning. Okay, so that's the long and short of it. So Thursday's theme, tomorrow's theme, is college and career readiness, looking forward to my future. Now, the, the math lesson for tomorrow is, is a regular set lesson that you know they are actually gonna be live tomorrow, um, but that might be one of the last days that they are during their times. I will not be live tomorrow. However, my activity is in terms of college and career readiness, being with everything that's going on in this world, I want you to write a letter or make a poster encouraging the class of 2020 high school seniors to go into the medical or the first responder field, right? So you have to convince a high school senior that they should be a superhero and save a life. And that's the title of the activity. All right. Um, then what I'd love, I'd love for you to do is if you make a poster, take a picture of it and load it up into the classroom so I can see it or send it to me via email. Um, my email is rob, R-O-B, at lindentree567.com. So I would love if you could do that. Or you can, I mean, some, you can send a picture to Dojo. That's a little hard for me to see sometimes, but probably the best thing to do would either load it directly into the classroom or to send it to my, my email account. That's, I would think that's definitely it. Or, you know what else you can do? You can write your letter and then read it out loud, like a speech. And so you can make a speech saying why you think these high school seniors should go into the medical or the first responder field. And first responder means firefighter, police officer, EMT, court officer, MTA workers, anybody who's on the front lines, any, anybody at all who's on the front lines, especially during this time that we have going on right now. Okay, so that's going to be my assignment for tomorrow. I'm going to post that up in it as an assignment in the classroom. You'll still see that and um, we will go from there. Okay, so if you have any questions, please feel free. 
reach out to me um, or any of uh, the third grade team via Dojo, via Google Classroom, or via our emails. Um, all of our emails are our first names, and then it's at lindentree567.com. I think it's Noel for math, um, Amanda for um, Miss, Miss, um, Miss, I'm drawing a blank, look at that. So <laughs> Amanda for Miss Roos, but you guys should, you know, Janelle for Miss Stewart and Rose for Miss Lord. Okay, so, but you should, you know, you should probably, you probably have all that. I think we gave that to you in the beginning of the year and I'm rambling on, so I apologize, but it is nine o'clock on a Wednesday night. So, so yeah, we hope that these activities that we've planned over the course of the next week and a half are opportunities for you to slow down, take a little break from the rigors of our daily learning that we've been working on and do some things that you can be more creative and have a little bit more fun. And as you read through the activities that we're going to have, you'll see that there's an opportunity there to have a lot of fun. And we are still here for you. We may not be live every day, but we are still here for you. Okay? So on that note, have a wonderful evening. If you watch this tonight, if you watch this tomorrow morning, have, uh, tomorrow morning, have a wonderful day. Um, I'm going to, for science classes, I'm going to post this assignment, and then I'm going to try to post a silly question every day that I want you to answer, okay? So this way we can have some fun with that and maybe have a couple laughs. So on that note, I look forward to hearing from you and you know seeing you if we have the opportunity to do so over the next week and a half, and I will talk to you very soon. Take care.